Good morning students. Welcome to Leela's tutorial. In today's class we are going to discuss about somatic cell nuclear transfer which is also referred as SANT or cloning technique. So by using this uh, cloning technique the first animal was Dolly the sheep which was produced in 1996. So let us discuss how it was produced by using what type of cells. So here you can see the sheep one. This is a female sheep from which they have taken the cells. So from the female sheep the other cells were collected. The somatic cells. The somatic other cells were collected. That means somatic means it consists of 2n number of chromosomes. Right. And from the another sheep. The sheep two. Again it is a female sheep. They have taken the egg cell. So here the egg cell consists of the nucleus. And also here the somatic cell also consists of the nucleus. Which is 2n number of chromosomes. Which consists of diploid number of chromosomes. Whereas here it is an unfertilized egg. So it consists of only 1n or 1 copy of chromosomes. So the somatic cells. We say that the egg cell egg cell and the sperm cell they are n number and n number when the fertilization occurs it results in the diploid the haploid gametes fused to form the diploid cell from which you get the progeny right whereas here you can see that this is the somatic cell which is taken from the other cells not the reproductive organ neither the egg nor the sperm cell so it is a somatic cell which consists of diploid nucleus and from another sheep they have taken the egg which is not fertilized. The unfertilized egg is taken right. The, there is no fertilization in this. So after this uh, see here in the sheep one case they have removed the nucleus from this other cells the, or the somatic cells. Right? They have removed the nucleus and whereas here in the sheep 2, right, from the egg cell, they have again discarded the nucleus and they have taken only the egg cell. Right? This process of removing the nucleus from the egg cell is referred as enucleation process. Right? The egg cell without nucleus, right, is called as enucleated egg cell. Right? This uh, egg cell consists, doesn't contain any nucleus. It is discarded. Right? So now here, now this is the egg cell which doesn't have any nucleus. Okay? Whereas here from the somatic cell, they have taken the somatic nucleus. Now the somatic to nucleus that is 2N. Here we have discussed when egg and the sperm, right? undergo fertilization then only you get the 2n from which the baby is produced right but here they have taken the somatic cell right not the gametic cell no fertilization and they have produced and they have isolated this uh, diploid nucleus from the somatic cell and now they have introduced this into the egg cell or enucleated egg cell do you understand See here they have removed the nucleus from the egg cell and they have introduced the diploid nucleus from the somatic cell into this. So now it consists of this is the enucleated egg cell consisting of the diploid 2n nucleus right. Normally this unfertilized egg has to fuse with the sperm cell from the male. And then only it will result in 2N. Right? But here the 1N nucleus is removed. And directly the diploid nucleus is introduced from the female sheep itself. Both are female. Right? So the female enucleated, enucleated egg cell is introduced with the diploid nucleus from the another sheep. Now see, you can see that. The egg cell consists of diploid number of chromosomes or the diploid nucleus. Now the cytoplasmic factors will initiate this nucleus or the chromosomes to undergo the division. As a result it will divide to form many number or you can say the copies right. The exact copies are called as clones. Now the single 
uh, modified cell. See the topic is somatic cell nuclear transfer. That means here from the somatic cell you are transferring the nucleus into the egg cell. So after this SCNT technique you are allowing the cell to form many number of copies. Right? You need not go for doing every time. So from the single cell you allow them to uh, divide to form the many number. When you call it as clone. When each and every cell resembles each other genetically, right? All their genotype is same. There is no difference, right? So now from the clone of cells, either you make use of reproductive cloning or you go for the therapeutic cloning, right? If it is a reproductive cloning, okay, directly you are going to introduce this into the surrogate mother. Again, here another female sheep is involved, right? Again, you're going to introduce directly this developed SCNT technique uh, into the surrogate animal, right? And after gestation, after gestation, it will result in formation of a clone, right? See, either you go for the uh, division, otherwise you directly introduce this developed uh, egg cell right into the surrogate mother as a result it will result in formation of a clone clone which resembles which mother now here you have sheep 1 sheep 2 and here another sheep 3 right so if this clone will genetically resemble the parent which has donated the nucleus right so here this clone will resemble sheep 1 Okay, so you can say that uh, this dolly which was produced is a clone of the female sheep one. Here in this technique, the no male is involved, no male gamete is involved in this technique. Simply by using the somatic cell and the unfertilized egg cell, they have produced an progeny which was named as dolly. That was the first successful uh, technique or the first successful animal which was produced in 1996. Then, if you don't want to produce this, you uh, and you want some other testing procedures or for the therapeutic cloning. So here in case of therapeutic cl cloning, you are not going to introduce that into the surrogate mother and allow the progeny to grow. Whereas here, uh, in this therapeutic technique, you make the cells to undergo the cloning process, right? The cells are dividing and increasing in number. Then you go for the disaggregation process, right? So disaggregation is nothing but the separation of the cells. Already we have discussed the anchorage dependent cells which adhere to the other surfaces. So now by means of disaggregation process, you are going to separate the cells and go for the tissue culture technique. What is tissue culture technique? Where you can go for the production or generation of uh, some uh, organs, tissues, right? In case of grafting or in case of organ production, right? Otherwise, you, go, you can go for the drug testing, toxicity testing or cell line production. So like that, this is complete different. Whereas here, this is the reproductive cloning where you want the livestock to get increased. Whereas here in therapeutic cloning, here you are going to study the cells, right? How they are going to be uh, affected by using different drugs or some other factors. So this is the uh, complete overall picture of your SCNT technique. If you have any doubts, please subscribe and um, put it in comments.